and this is where I've always found reading has stood out for me also. It's this calming experience. Like it, it just feels like you're really separated from the digital noise. And this is where I kind of feel books will make a comeback. I don't have proof. I don't have, it's just my opinion, but I do believe because with so many different forms of way to consume information, it, I feel like our world is just so saturated right now with information and it almost feels like books are sort of being kind of gently pushed out of that information space. It's They're still very relevant, but I, I do believe they do stand out in, in different ways. And I was going to ask you, what is something that makes books stand out from every type of consumable information? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, I remember a teacher in my childhood years once mentioned that reading books is always a superior experience from the visual format of the same thing, meaning movies, videos, uh, live presentations. And I couldn't understand that. And it took me several years to really um, know what she was talking about because for me, the visual seemed to be more entertaining. I was far more excited when I knew that we would be watching a movie at school than having been told to read a book. And, uh, you know, I've always enjoyed the music and the sound and the cinematography of um, a visual presentation. But later, I understood what was meant when she said that. Because I found that um, when you read a book, there's individual interpretation of it and there's unique use of um, your imagination when reading. Those two things are so key. So what I'm trying to say is we're not limited by the predetermined presentation that a creator, director, producer would give us, but each of us has unique thoughts and feelings. And so we can create our own depth of meaning when we read something. And especially, as I say, using your imagination to create characters in your own mind and create scenes in your own mind. Well, that's the thing that I noticed that how you were mentioning that you use your imagination and mm -hmm. that what makes that stand out is like, I think it's just so obvious books is that one piece of information or even entertainment that does not require a digital screen or digital audio like it's. It's completely removed from all the types of information out there. It's It truly is like this analog, physical paper. Right. I do find that um, when we see video, we're limited in our minds to what we see. Whereas if we read something, we can create in our own minds that unique interpretation or take on things. Yeah. I remember in elementary, my teacher said, you know, you can watch the movie or read the book. The book will always give you far more information and context. And she was right. She was completely right. You will create it as an individual and everyone will read it differently. But today's society is becoming quickly post-literate. Um, even in Canada, our literacy rate is down 40%. Really? Which wow. is astounding. And in the U.S., it's even higher than that. Were they factoring the people that read on, on computers and tablets? Is does that? No, it was referring to reading books. But they are talking about, and educators are noticing now as well, that even when asking students to do research, and when they go online, as opposed to reading the required material, there's a real disconnect there. Um, the students that are researching online, they just seem to be more isolated from the detailed narrative that reading a book can provide. And um, they're disconnected from the past by not reading um, thoroughly other book resources. And um, also not to mention that reading things online tend to be condensed versions and um, it fosters a limited attention span because the media 
uh, even on television, if you've noticed, a lot of the programming are just using short, quick clips. And so that does not allow us to concentrate uh, in any uh, depth for a long period of time like a book requires. Well, there's a little bit of truth to that because I, I do find, you, yeah, it's funny how people will read the title and that's it. It's like they've based their opinion. Maybe they'll read the first paragraph, but they won't really read the full thing. They won't even check the sources. I think the critical thinking maybe is also is probably going down too. Huge, huge. We are seeing that in our society, that um, our critical thinking is being affected by that. Um, even when you take things like Facebook, again, short clips that are being shared, the way it is affecting the way people even communicate. Mm -hmm. I find that people are speaking in short, three word sentences. They are unable to communicate at, in any depth for any length of time. And I believe this is all a reflection from removing ourselves from the discipline of reading books, literal books. And this is where I've always found reading has stood out for me also. It's this calming experience. Like it, it just feels like you're really separated from the digital noise. And this is where I kind of feel books will make a comeback. I don't have proof. I don't have, it's just my opinion, but I do believe because anxiety has become increasingly high now, I do believe a lot of this has been from the digital, how tuned we are in and, and we're just so inundated with information where I think a book can actually, if people can get back to reading again, it could actually calm our nerves a bit and just give us this relaxing uh, peace of mind a bit. It's so ironic with all the technology that we have today. You mentioned earlier, we are inundated with information overload. And yet we are so highly distracted by our tech devices that um, a lot of people are losing the discipline or even the time that could be given to reading a book and again, as you said, reading a book is a, a, a great experience. Uh, once you sit down in a comfortable place and open that book, you are just going into a, a whole new world.